Solidarity gathering with the people of Israel by the Jewish community, but also political parties, uh, as well as those who are in support um, with the people of Israel. I am joined by the Speaker of the Johannesburg Council. Thank you for your time, Mr. Can you just talk to me about the importance of you being here today? Thank you very much, and um, we send our condolences to the families that are here that have suffered loss. We also stand with the families that are traumatized. Some of them um, are important uh, members of the community of the city of Johannesburg. We've got council members, councillors that are Jewish, that are in our council as well. So it's important when something like this happens that as a city we are here to offer support. We condemn strongly the killing of kids, the killing of children, the killing of women, other people with disability. You cannot have um, a, an attack on civilians. And for that reason, as a city of Johannesburg, we strongly are against this. We are speaking the peaceful resolution to this conflict. And we want all our communities, including the Jewish community, to know that the doors of the city of Johannesburg is open. Whatever it is that they need from us, will be in our own powers, we'll be able to support them. And they must know that they are important members of this community and social cohesion it's important for us and we stand with them. Thank you so much. For they did not accept that. They did not accept what the United Nations of the world had agreed on, that the two-state solution is the answer to the problem of the long drawn-out struggle between the Israelis and the Palestinians. They did not want to do that. But what does the Oslo Accord say? They say that we have two states, you live there and we live here. We live in peace with each other. Please, we can't go on killing each other all the time. And for goodness sake, the, 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 the two-state solution is something we, under the leadership of President Mandela, accepted it as well. There at the United Nations. These people don't want peace. We wanted peace. When the National Party came to us, we said, Amen. So, hold it. Can we please discuss peace, man? How long are you going to keep us here and keep killing our people and we killing yours? Can we please discuss peace? Ultimately, they agreed and we came to discuss peace, Odessa, and produce the constitution that we have today. Let me say without fear of contradiction, some of the major leaders of our struggle in this country were the Jewish men and women. And that's why I'm here today.